Rick Baker, naturopath. Thanks for coming back. We're going to talk about parasites today, a topic that I'm quite versed with because I've been working now with parasites and with patients, as you know, now for a long, long time, and particularly practical skills. <clears throat> I've worked out things that work, things that don't work in the clinic, and also some crappy nonsense that I'm going to provide you with today and explain to you what the real facts are regarding parasites and how you probably can get rid of them if you really want to get rid of them, but you dig in a big hole by thinking you can get away with, oh, you can get rid of parasites purely by pharmaceutical means. In most cases, it's not going to be sufficient. It's not going to be powerful enough. And the unfortunate thing is, in the process of trying to get rid of a parasite, many people end up trashing their gut so bad, so horrifically bad, that they get rid of the parasite partially. And in the meanwhile, they've really trashed their gut in a bad way. So what happens? Bad bacteria start setting up camp. Bacteria that have always been there a long time, you know, and these are usually good, they're well behaved. We're talking bacteria like Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, Citrobacter, bacteria like that, for example, which I see time and again in stool tests, along with parasites. Now, how would that happen? Well, generally, the patient had a parasite problem, went to a doctor, might have had a, a simple stool test done or whatever, and was given a parasite drug. And there are many different classes of parasitic drugs that you can go on. But the problem is, a big hit will occur. The parasite will either be taken out or in most cases only partially taken out and meanwhile a lot of destruction occurs to the microbiome and then of course you're going to leave a void or a vacuum. So you're going to get some bacteria that are there setting up shop which shouldn't really be setting up shop. They're going to create biofilms. You're going to end up with SIBO and many other types of problems and often behavioral changes occur, craving changes occur because you're messing up the gut also, you're messing up the ability for the hormones in the gut to probably communicate with the brain. Sugar cravings occur, and before you know it, kapow, you've got a candida problem on top of the bacteria and the parasite that you, you know, desperately wanted to get rid of. So what I'm trying to explain to you is, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of patients who've had parasite treatment through the doctor and have actually ended up worse, in a worse condition than before they went to the doctor because they seriously reduced their body's beneficial count. They created a big problem, as I mentioned, with you know commensal bacteria that popped up that shouldn't have popped up. And lo and behold, they still may well have blastocystis or other parasites that they were trying to get rid of. So what do people often do? They go to iHerb or they go to online stores and they buy things, you know, like you know, clove extract or neem, or they might try some pumpkin seeds or you know, just a quick home cure for a few weeks. And oftentimes it won't even touch the size of the parasite problem. And then they start having continual bowel problems and loose motions and you know all these sort of issues. And they go back to the doctor, more drugs and often antibiotics at this stage. And then of course the patients dig in an even bigger hole. It's almost like the doctor gives them a longer shovel to keep digging the hole down further. Take it from me folks, drugs are not the way to get the gut in good shape. In time, well in the future, drugs will never be used to get the gut in order. What will be used will be medicines and foods that bring the balance of the gut back, okay? And if you do look at a program to you know, repair the gut and get it in better state and eradicate a parasite, use a soft hammer. Don't use a really strong big steel hammer like a drug because the collateral damage is so massive with these drugs and the fallout keeps on occurring that you can be paying the price for many, many years beyond taking this drug. Now I've seen some patients who are still unwell 10 or 15 years after taking a parasite drug. They developed irritable bowel syndrome and then they bounced from one doctor to another doctor to a naturopath to a chiropractor to a you know goodness knows what kind of a doctor out there and then eventually I saw these people. Some patients I've seen had been to 40 doctors plus with a bowel problem until we finally discovered that they had big problems that needed fixing up. SIBO, candida and parasite eradication. So look at a simple natural treatment that's not going to create a lot of lateral de collateral damage for you. If the treatment's worse than, worse than the disease, it may want to make you rethink what you're actually doing. So there are things that you really need to understand when it comes to pharmaceutical parasite treatment. Often you go on a round of treatment and it may work, but then the bugs become resistant, they bounce back. Generally, you never successfully fully eradicate all the parasites. And most people I see with a parasite problem, 
will already at some stage have developed a bacterial issue alongside the parasite problem. So then they've got two kinds of problems they need fixing. And then if they take a drug from the doctor, it's usually designed to hit at one target and then away they go with more irritable bowel problems. Doctors also never talk to patients sufficiently about the correct parasite type of diet. If you follow my Candida Crusher approach, if you've watched my channel, watched my videos, looked at my YouTube channel, you'll understand and have some good tools that you can work with to help, you know, to really get you significantly in a better position to eradicate these bugs and to get the balance back again, because that's what it's all about. It's all about the balance. So remember also, parasites are everywhere. You can't get rid of parasites. All you can do is strengthen up your gut to a very high point. And when your gut is like mine at a solid point, you'd be surprised how good you feel and how powerful your gut is at resisting further attacks from parasites and bacteria and yeast. It's all about getting the balance back. You don't need a strong, powerful hammer that smashes everything up. So it makes a lot of sense to think about some of the information I've just told you there. You will get a better result if you're more careful and think carefully about the type of treatment you're taking for parasites. So why do most patients relapse after taking drugs? Well, as I mentioned, resistance is very common with parasites today. Many parasites are becoming increasingly resistant to drugs. And the other thing is the gut's being messed up. So the patient will initially maybe feel a little bit better, but then they'll start getting sick again and they relapse into the similar conditions they had previous. My most successful treatments have come from using very simplistic dietary supplement approach and also a very simplistic dietary approach and continuing on the track and carefully, carefully bringing the balance back again. It's totally achievable to fully repair a gut that's been dysfunctional for 10 or 15 years plus if these steps are taken particularly if you do regular comprehensive stool analysis during this treatment phase. So I really recommend you work with a doctor, similar to me, but I'm not working now as a clinician anymore, just as an educator. So I fully recommend you work with a clinician that understands comprehensive stool analysis and will take you through that process of treating you, regularly testing, keeping your know, eye on the notes and then treating you again and keep working down that path until you've completely cleared that gut from all these pathogens and brought the balance back. That's been the secret to my success now for many years and it's why I love doing the work I do because I've seen outstanding results in so many patients who follow this simple process and you can do it too. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch me in the next video. I'll be talking more about parasites. Thank you.